Hey guys, what up here, and welcome to NASCAR 14 Career Mode. We're finally at to the near semi end of the Utenix era of sorts. Then again, 14 and 15 are pretty much the same game with just different roster and a schedule change. So, yeah, I guess it could be regarded as that. But we're finally at to this point, and I'm looking forward to it because this is the, the point in the series where um, I think I enjoy it the most in terms of. Well, just driving while the AI aren't as stupid. They're still stupid. Like if NASCAR inside lines, like a 10 out of 10 stupid. This is like a like a 8 out of 10 stupid. So they're still stupid. So, yeah, how the crew mode's gonna be? I didn't make a video or anything talking about, but I'll explain it right now. It's 20% races, three times wear, no assist, manual transmission, and I will be making adjustments to the car. But it's the adjustments I'm gonna be making are just simple pit road adjustments I'll put into the setup before I do qualifying in the race. So really the big major changes I'll make to it is just tire pressures and the wedge and maybe the grill tape. That That's about it. And and everything. I feel like we could win the championship in this season. Not entirely sure. We'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. But I did a lot of practicing. And um, that's all I did for like the last week or so. So uh, let's get into it. We'll start our career. We pretty much have to restart it because this is the stuff I was doing off camera. Just getting prepared. So we'll restart it. And what driver should we be? We're bringing Brianna back. I thought about it a little bit, but we're going to be bringing Brianna back. B R I A N N A. So it's it's not Brianna, it's Brianna, okay? We have to you have we have to understand the difference. It's Brianna Pimplepa Jr. Yep. I'm original. So P I M P because I, I never spelled it pimple bay. It was like pimple, pimpla. I don't know. I don't know how I spelled it, but I, the, the lore was because of the inside line, I couldn't put my full last name, and that's why I I went with that name. But I, I can in this game, but we're just going to keep it. I didn't even change the. Ugh, it's Brian F. Pimple back Jr. What is wrong with me? Wait. Okay, wait. J. R. I can't put the dot. What is this? Okay, well. D do I have to look back up on my video to see how I spelled it back then? I guess I have to. Well, son of a bitch, I think. Okay, it was Pimple Ba. Alright. It wasn't Pimple Back. It was Pimple Ba. So it was P I M P L A. I ha it took me five minutes to go through and look for it. And also, probably four of those minutes were just my phone loading because my phone is actually starting to become a piece of crap. So it was P I M P L. No, that's not how I spell pimple. I don't know why I spelt it like that. I think it was just me trying to abbreviate it so it could fit. So what 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 did I have here? P I M P L B. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. P I M P. P I M P L. P I M P L B A. Yeah, okay. Well, that's that's pretty much it. So, we're still female. Our nationality is American because why not? Also, our manufacturer, we were uh we were dodged because it was a dead brand that's just no longer is a NASCAR. So, I thought the next best thing is go with the next manufacturer that's currently dying. Chevy. So, I I'm sure I'm pissing people off saying that. And I'm and I know Chevy sometimes has good runs. Okay, I understand. But it's dying. Dodge died on top. But Chevy's dying like a slow, painful death, apparently. I don't know. It's just whatever. <laughs> so car number. We're going with 45 for Adam Petty. And I'm only going with that because the 45 font in this game is actually pretty damn accurate to how it was in real life. I think the might be a little bit smaller, but it was the, 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 the look was similar. So team name... Oh, we're still going with the with the uh, the sexual routes, so we're gonna be pan. We're gonna be like a, we're gonna be pansexual, but then also we're gonna be bi. So it's gonna be pan bi. Okay, so it's gonna be pan bi, and then oh, gotta bring out my phone. What are the gender? What what? <laughs> What are the sexual preferences out in the world? I gotta, I gotta find them all. So I was looking through my phone, 
and we have we we have like the usual stuff, but then we have the the fluid communities. That's interesting. And then we have there's there's one called queer questioning. So I'm it's just I just don't know. See, I'm just I'm just an uninformed pleb. But then there's ones Androsexual what is Huh. Then there's what I can't even <laughs> I can't. <laughs> This is this is not even a NASCAR eight fourteen video anymore, it's just me looking through sexuality. <laughs> okay, there's bi and I understand that one. Um de what is a demisexual what oh we gotta put that we gotta put that D wait I wanted it a cap capital D D E M I. so it's pan B pan by demi uality so uh U A so it's then it's U A L I T Y. So it's pan by demuality. Okay. I, okay, so we got the we got I, what is that? I don't know why did I burp? Uh, but yeah, that's where we're going with apparently, so here we go. This game really doesn't Selecting different manufacturer may cause you to screw team. I know game. I under, I understand. We're not going to be using them those schemes anyways. So, yeah, this game doesn't really have as much interesting stuff compared to what Inside Line had. It doesn't. I mean, it kind of shows you like through like the racing stuff at Indy, which we've already kind of been through. But hey, look at that scheme. That actually looks kind of fire. Is that a word people use? I don't know. But that is the default one. We can actually use a paint we could use a paint booth and do all different kinds of things but i have no skill in that at all so we're going to show you this stuff right away we start off with uh 10, 000 credits and again we can't do much here but we pretty much have to get the engine shop body shop and the part shop just to get the other stuff from those, the looks of it from what i've played the only thing is we can't really earn money through the races we only can get it through sponsors so say if we did really well at daytona or anywhere else we won't get any money from like the winnings of the race. We just will. It's weird. I I would think it would be like part would be like sponsors, part would be from the race winnings, but it's not that at all. I re, if I remember, Inside Line kind of had it like that. So instead of finding a way to make money be a little bit tougher, they just took your race winnings away. So I don't. Know. But yeah. So uh, simply enough, we'll just head right into the duels and uh, see what we can do. Um, that's really about it. I mean, I can't use that scheme though, game. I. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go create a scheme and make sure it it looks like that. I guess because I don't know why I didn't save or just, I don't know. It's it's turning into a big ordeal to do simple things. Well, isn't that is, that's a lot of fun? All right. Well, we have base layers for a, a scheme, but I don't. I like. I I'm okay with that though. But I. There's. Some of these here aren't amazing. Well, actually, we do have that as a base there, so we'll, we'll we'll pick that. That's perfect. And then can we go in to do everything else that I usually like to do? Because I'd like to do that, please. Okay, I think we just saved the car. I think we're all good now to go right into everything else. See, we just had another hurdle, another little speed bump in the road to our championship. So now let's get into everything. That's just saved it. We should be fine. And we are perfectly fine, so let's uh, get into it. We can't do much of anything. We can't even get an engine. All of it's just refurbished. I, we can't even... The only thing we can get is suspension, but then again, it's Daytona. I don't think it really matters that we need amazing suspension, so it's just pretty much uh, crap. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to lower the brake bias when I do qualifying. That's really about the only thing I can do to make it be a little bit quicker or looser. I don't know, but I'll do qualifying and see what we start for the duel. Oh my god, in the loading screen it has a Samsung Galaxy S4. Mine's an S3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah, this it's it's nearly five years old and there's like an S9 out now. It's, it's Times have changed, but... So our settings, this is pretty much how it's going to be throughout the entire career mode. 20% uh, race, 
three times wear, uh, caution, black flags on, and damage on full. So that's pretty much what it'll be. It's a 12 lap race here. I don't even think we need to pit. We might have to. It'll be close. I'm not totally sure, but yeah. Well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get qualifying over with. You don't need to see that or anything because it's not that interesting. Off turn four, it's going to definitely be a lot better than our first lap, but we're going to pretty much start 34th, which <laughs> considering this is a scrub team with nothing to it, that's not that bad. I'll gladly take it. I think we'll be uh, 17th in the duel, and if they cut it by half from that, that's going to be like 8th or 9th in the duel, I think. So, um, we're probably going to be on the outside, which is going to suck, but Harvick's on the pole. I don't know who will be on the front row. It depends on who wins, but yeah, um... Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm not really going to show any of the, the cutscenes because it was the same from inside lines, so there's really nothing new to show. So, Yeah, a lot of these will just have me just going straight into the race. So, Yeah, let's just <laughs> let's just get right into it. Here's our assist, just so you all know for sure. It's a manual, everything else is off, so it's about as badass as I could possibly make it. But yeah, um... One thing that I, if I remember correctly, that this game did differently from Inside Line was that the loading screens are a little bit quicker, which is good. But yeah, it's the same sort of cinematic shots and everything. Um, one thing I, for, I forgot that this game has is really damn good looking paint schemes. I don't know if just 2014 in general just had nice looking paint schemes or what. But it really has some nice schemes. I don't know if we'll see a bunch of them today or in this part, but... There's, it, there's a lot of nice ones. I, okay, um... Oh boy, that's, uh... That, that infield looks a lot like modern NASCAR Day's attendance. <laughs> I know, I'm good. I'm good, I'll be here all, 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 all life. So, alright, we're on the inside, which is good. And green flag, no, okay, well now it's out. Okay, well, yeah, like, we're on the inside. That's great. So, 12 laps. I don't know how long we can even stretch the fuel. Since it's three times where I'm trying to go by, like, NASCAR Heat 3, because that's, like, times four, and that's always, like, four times where for that at a restricted place. Like, well, at least for Daytona, is like, ten laps. But since this is three times, I would think I can go a little bit more than ten. Wow, that, that was some big frame rate drops here. What am I playing at? Freaking 704 game? <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, Daytona and Talladega should be the two tracks where I have a real big chance to win or do very well i would say but yeah we're, we're holding ourselves up pretty good we just as long as we're in the draft i think we have a good chance just try to play it careful because as you see it is just absolutely just insane already that's just how it is in this game they absolutely overhauled the ai from being really stupid at some tracks they kind of fixed some of it but then at restrictor plates they just ramped them up to 11 here and they're just stupid fast and not stupid fast but insane i guess is the best word to describe it. i mean it's just all over the place and you don't know what's going to happen i don't even know if this is better than heat three i mean they definitely move all over the place and they try to race more i, I guess so i i don't know you be the judge but we make a move to the inside we're four wide for second i think and we're going to somehow win in that as long as ambrose has room I'm just going to try to hold to the bottom for dear life. I'm going to clip the curb a little bit. Apron. Boyer has the lead. See, we're doing pretty good. Oh, God. Rudiman just with the, the chop block there. Look at Ryan Truex there drafting me. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. See, it's just scary. You just, <laughs> just don't know. It seems like we have pretty good speed, but I can definitely tell we're not quite there. I mean, we're barely topping at 200. Like I said, as long as we're in the draft, I think we'll be fine. As long as I get the lead, too, and just hold the bottom, we'll definitely have a, a good chance to just chill and just do good from there. But Parker Klergman wants to do something, so yeah, bump drafting's still a thing in this game, which is nice. That would give us a nice little little bump draft help. And yeah, there he goes. Yeah, 202, that was nice. Oh, clip the curb again. Apron, curb. It's not a road course. We're not there yet. Oof. That was close. All right. Okay. Well, that was a little terrifying. I didn't mean to bump him in the corners. I mean, I don't know why we're trying. We're not side trap doesn't work in this game. What am I trying to do? We just gotta hold it to the bottom. Michael Waltrip really wants to push me. Please. Thank you. Look at that. I... <sighs> the living meme. And now he's helping me live my dreams of having the first gender everything driver to be leading in the duel. Hooray. 
Dale Jr. took over second place. Again, we're just blocking the bottom. I'm not going to really try to, you know, destroy my life trying to block the outside. So if they, if they want to get by me, they, they can. It's okay. One car is already down pit road. I don't think it's any sort of pit strategy. It might be just, I guess, mechanical failure. Well, I don't know. He's getting back out on track, so I don't, I don't know. Is that some wild pit strategy? I don't think so. I mean, we can pretty much all make it on fuel, I think. I mean, we're at lap six. We're right at the halfway point. We're not even halfway on fuel, so I don't, I don't know. But bold strategy. We lose the lead to Stenhouse, but it's okay. We got the bottom lane. We'll, we'll get it back here eventually. I guess people are pitting. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't. I don't. Hmm. I didn't think they could. I didn't think they needed to. Mears tries to make a move. I do the same thing too, but I somehow get an even better run. Now Junior's gonna get blocked in by Stenhouse. And I think we're gonna somehow, some way, retake the lead, and we're gonna have lap traffic play a factor into this now. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes this race even more bizarre and interesting. Hey, there goes Stenhouse. I mean, it'll be close for me, but I, I think I can make it on fuel. I. Hmm. So I guess the fuel. It's still. It's. They're pitting way too early, though. They're about four or five laps earlier than they should, roughly. I guess. I. I don't know. That's one thing with this game I just I can never really figure out. It's just the way they pit sometimes. It's almost like you have to play each track on a certain setting and just write it all down to figure out what is the best way. I did a lot of races and I didn't think the, the race length and the, the AI piss strategy was going to be anything bad. I don't remember it being an issue here. So I don't know. Unless I shortened the races back then off camera, I don't really know. But... Well, either way, we're leading, and I, I, I guess I guess we'll win by some bizarre fuel strategy scenario. Unless they all stay out, I don't know. We just have to wait and see. Coming on the high side. Outside. Okay, hunting down. That was one fucking amazing save. I wish I could even comprehend how I did that, but that was amazing. Just my thought. I lost the lead. Um. <laughs> Lap traffic playing a factor, holding everybody up. So, good job, I Michael Walter. I don't know, we're with three wide, so. Yeah, let's just bump Biffle in and try to, like, push him out of the way as he's, like, trying to survive for his life, trying to pull off lap traffic. This has just turned into a really, really weird race. We got one, two, three, four lap down cars racing with us for the lead. Now we're three wide for the lead, but this is just weird. Um, I don't know, I'm very confused. But at the same time, I like it. Oh no, Stenhouse, the living chicane. Oh, he's gonna pull down right in front of me. Stenhouse, move. Stenhouse, you, <laughs> you ass. Well, I guess we'll get to the inside of him, no problem. Kenseth was is gonna get stuck on him on the outside, so that's good as well. I guess it's Rudiman. Yeah, why not? All right, well. Um. Okay, I guess we're fine for now. I thought that would be a bigger problem than. than than it was, unfortunately. There goes Rudiman down pit road, so that takes one less car away from the the battles. We head into the white flag. Ambrose now trying to do something. I I don't know. I really... How many people are even on lead lab? It's got to be less than half at this point. Joe Neiman... No, Jimmy Check... <laughs> Joe Neiman checks nine for position. Okay, we're just going to have to make a block off turn two, so, you know, Ambrose doesn't get a run on me. And... And... Eh... Uh, eh... Oof. Oh my god, Kligerman. I don't even know if that's for position. Well, we're going to block it anyways, because the bottom lane is the way to go. This has just been weird. I don't even know. I, I, I thought it was for position. I don't know. I, I can't keep track of everything. So off turn four. There you go, Kligerman. Make things a lot more of a pain. He just blocked the running lane. Here comes Johnson. He's going to try to do something. I'm just going to somehow hold them all off. We'll win the duel. I don't... Um. Oh boy. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. That was just really weird. Well, I guess, uh... How many people are even on lead lap? 10? No? 13? Four, okay, 13 on lead lap. And we led 7 out of the 12, so... That's good, but... Yeah, who led the other rest? Alright, well... We'll just uh, get right into the day, day 2500. It's gonna be a long part, but... That, that's what part that that's what this part is it's gonna be a long part we'll check the uh, research and development okay well hey we got another 10,000 credits I guess you do get paid 
in this game to some extent. I don't, I don't know. Either way, we're going into Daytona. We'll uh, try to um, pull a miracle. Should we go with the refurbished engine or, or something? I don't. Might as well. I mean, that's really all we can do to the car. So I was gonna go for that. But yeah, I'll just simply, uh, I, I guess, try to win. I guess we have a serious chance to to pull it off here. Here's our settings, uh, same as usual. I'm assuming just because it's three times aware, we're gonna have to pit uh, three times, maybe four, probably three times. So that's what's gonna happen if it goes green all the way. Again, this is a NASCAR heat. Cautions don't aren't as predictable, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, we'll accept the changes and we'll get right into the Daytona 500. And we're gonna be starting either third or fourth. So. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I I, I just want to see if we can actually pull off the, the epic win. Here we go. We're starting P4. We're on the outside, which kind of sucks, but I guess Truex won in his uh, duels, so that's that's kind of cool. I don't know how well Truex would do in this season, but we could try to you know have some kind of I don't know, see if he does good in this game. Again, this game's weird because a lot of the AIs have almost the same sort of horsepower as everyone else, so. You can, you can see someone like legitimately leading that's not usually up there like it's it's certainly possible if cautions fall a certain way but yeah we'll get through the gears everything seemed pretty fine um, I guess as far as pit strategy is concerned since the way this is kind of played out we'll probably try to pit at every like 10 laps so I was going back and forth whether to do okay the outside line just completely stacked up I can't really go anywhere try to migrate to the bottom but I can't really do it so now we're just stuck up here but as you see it's just an absolute just mob of cars and I can't really go anywhere unless I want to go three wide can I even try to go to the bottom uh, I can Ooh, it worked okay <laughs> went back to 14th Trix will somehow lead the first lap and now since we're on the bottom we can finally start moving our way up through the field again as long as we're in the draft we have a good chance and if this plays out we have an even better chance because one weird thing with this game is the like during pit cycles you do gain track position and ground a little bit some races it's better than others like I remember one at Kansas that we I gained a crap ton other tracks like Martinsville I didn't really gain anything so yeah, I guess it just depends on the track I don't know but we'll see how this goes but yeah everything seems they're going pretty good so far Moved ourselves up a couple of extra spots. We'll go to the inside, gain more spots. There are three wide. Newman, don't touch me. And Hamlin leads the second lap as we're going to try to go four wide. Why am I doing that? Newman, do you not see the hell that you're in front of me? Just let me just, just let me off the gas. Thank you. I don't know why on earth he would want to try to go full send. Oh, we got a good run off this corner. Oh, I felt it. Mm, there we go. I, was, I don't know if that was a good run or they just slowed up, but... Okay, the Newman, now, now is a good time to push me. I appreciate that. And can we clear, get to inside of Hamlin? That was a terrible, like, way of holding my line there. But okay, we got it all figured out. And there we go. Beautiful. Into the lead. We'll hold off Newman. Again, as long as we just kind of hold the bottom and have all these pit cycles begin to cycle out and happen, this will definitely uh, thin out this field a little bit so it's not as much of a, you know, the uh, grenade field, I don't know, minefield, that's the word I was looking for. So, yeah, just gonna hold the bottom and I'll catch you all when I lose the lead, which will probably be very soon if this keeps going at this rate. Well, nothing's really changed other than the fact that this is still an absolute, just disgusting display of pack racing. Johnson just straight out, just flat out drove right around me on the outside. Now multiple drivers are going with them and I have no help in front of me to even use draft but thankfully it's gonna start helping out now I don't even know who led that lap but again right now wow that some somebody st st stacked up or something but really all we have to do now is just put ourselves in position be up here in this pack we don't even need to lead or dominate we just have to be in this position and have this play out as organically as humanly possible and I guess we can be have a chance to win my god, oh my god, Larson, that was a, that was a dirty block, but it, it worked out. So, really nothing too much to report, still leading, it's still just an absolute, just crazy mess back there. 
Some people are pitting. I'm kind of kind of what I don't. I said some sort of accent there. I'm kind of surprised how the fuel is managing out. Seems like we can probably pit every 11 laps. So I guess that's good. Should I pit now or should I just try to stretch it? I don't know. There, somebody got to run, and that's scared the shit out of me. I just thought I'd get to the inside. But yeah, it all depends on when they pit. I don't know when they will. Even though I pit on lap 13, we're still going to be on, like, what, 13, 26, and 39, so we're going to be about a lap short. And, okay, some people are pitting that lap. Uh, I don't even think I can stretch it to lap 14. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I, if I pit every 13 laps, I can maybe make it an extra one. I'm not totally sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I, can be, I, I probably can stretch it, so... I mean, I guess, I guess I'll try it, I just don't know. Check your outside. When did I get this damage? D what the... When did I get this damage? On the car, I... I looked back once and it was fine, now why do I have that? Okay. I'll pit this lap. I don't know. I don't know if I can make it to the end. It's gonna be really close. So we'll duck down now, we'll slow down. Again, the brakes aren't good. It's just stock, so I don't think it's going to be amazing. We'll take four tires and fuel. There we go, just nice. I guess I'll... Um... There's... Alright. I'm just confused why I have damage on the car. Um... Alright, we'll see what our pit crew can do. Hopefully we cycle out in front of them, or hopefully this field thins out a little bit more. And there we go, out in the way, and we're going to cycle out in front of everybody that went down pit road by kind of a pretty good margin. And that's what I meant. I don't know why it's like that. I mean, I, I don't really have an explanation because I took four tires and that's how much I cycled out. So, um, yeah. And I'll go. And again, I'm very confused why I have damage on the right side. Did I hit someone at some point? I don't. I don't know. I look. I remember looking back once and there was nothing there, and then I did it again like a minute later, and it was, I'm just. Um, I need a big dose of comment section help on that. Well, it looks like Danica and friends. Yep, Danica somehow is first right now. She's actually look. It looks like it's gonna benefit her because she, <laughs> she's already out of pit road. She's already gonna get back on the racing surface on the back straightaway, and damn near she's gonna get the lead. As we have Vickers and somebody else, a couple other people behind me. As long as you don't merge up the freaking track, Kyle Busch. No, okay, now I hit the outside wall there. And, okay, now we're gaining some spots and everything's looking looking fine. But again, I'm just kind of shocked. Danica cycled out beautifully. And we're just going to pin Vickers behind Kurt Busch. No, actually, he drove right around him, so good for him. Now Newman takes the lead. All right, well, I mean, we still have a shot at it. We just have to have Vickers push us up there. There we go. Great run. Drive right by Newman and Danica. And new leader. All right, beautiful. Now let's just hold it, and hopefully this field doesn't close back in, because I like this like, little little pack that's not like 40 cars deep. Holy shit. Oh my god. We're still going to lead that lap. That's incredible. That is actually incredible. Holy shit. That was... <laughs> oh my god. Why did I do that? I didn't need to block so damn much. I mean, it's only like a six pack of cars and Danica momentarily got the lead and we'll get it right back here off of turn two with no problem at all a little bit dinged up on the side there trying to get around Matt Kenseth when he was down or like you know coming off pit road but yeah there we go back into the lead and hopefully we'll maintain it and not almost die like we just did almost a lap ago So to give you guys an update on what's been going on, it's now only down to, it used to be four cars, and now it's only three, but 
Kurt Busch is just fast. I mean, he, he just keeps getting a run on the back straightaway, passes me on the outside, I get him back off of four, or, or maybe even, even in turn two sometimes. It's just been this constant back and forth, looking in my mirrors. He's making a block, then, then you know, here comes Rudiman now flying up on the outside. I'm, again, I'm just trying not, I'm just trying to be careful, not trying to do anything really, really dumb. And it kind of worked out there where he didn't get as big of a run. But yeah, everything's just kind of stabilizing, just chilling right now. Just can't believe only three cars have pulled away from even that big bunch of cars back there. And we're racing. It's not even like we're being in a straight line this whole time. It's just, <laughs> Kirk's just desperately trying to get around me as well as Rudiman. There goes Rudiman down pure as well as a bunch of other cars. And yeah, I don't really know how this is all going to work out because they're not going to make it on fuel to the end. Their fuel window's 10 or 12 laps maximum and they're, they're not going to make it. I think Rudiman just kind of screwed himself there. I don't even know if I can make it on one more stop. It might be very close. I, I might run out of fuel on the white flag at some point. But if they're all going to pit like this, I might have a big advantage, technically. So, I don't know. I'm just surprised it's gone on for this long with all the pit stops and everything. But we'll pit next time by. It's just me and Kurt Busch right now. And I guess we'll get ready here eventually for the final stop of the, the potential race. Here we go, we'll pit this lap. I guess Kurt's not going to pit either, unless he's going to we'll wait till he ducks down at the last second. It's a little bit of a late entry, but there we go, we got down to speed just fine. Four tires and fuel, and I think we can make it. It's barely any fuel left, but I think we can probably coast to the line. Maybe, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I guess it's a standard pit stop. We should cycle back out into lead with, again, really no problems. And there we go. There's Vickers. I guess he's gonna cycle out in front of me. No? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just hold him up, leaving pit road. We'll merge out back on track. He's trying to pass me, and in fact, in fact he's going to pass me, which will be for a literal P1 here when this all cycles out, I would imagine. But, no, wait, never mind. Okay. Well, see you, Vickers. Here comes a uh, bunch of cars leaving pit road. And Amarola is the last one to pit, so whoever's up here in second will be for, for a literal P1 here shortly. But, oh god, I just don't know where they're going to go. This is going to get really stupid. No? Okay. And duck down low. Vickers does the same thing. That was smart. And Kurt Busch has a one second lead. Okay, so he did cycle out in front of me, but wasn't buying anything too crazy. And I don't know if the field's going to get all bunched up here or what. But it's going to be interesting. And we have a lap down car in the mix to just cause more problems. Yeah, Almirola is down pit road. And oh my god, Newman with that freaking block. And there we go. New leader, Kurt Busch. Vickers now going for a lead. And how, what, how many lap, what lap down is he? 42nd, okay. Who's in 43rd though? That's my question. Either way, we're going to get an amazing run. And <laughs> I guess that's a bump and run. I don't know. And are we going to clear him? No. Can Castle give me a bump draft or something? Oh, wait, yeah, it's blue. He's going to do it. But he's not close enough. Well, that sucked. We'll, we'll get him, though. As long as we're in this pack, I think we still have a chance. Newman kind of loses the draft there, it seems like. We got a really good run, but with nowhere to go, unless we could try the outside line. So I was kind of three wide there for a second. We'll get a good run off turn two, and... Back into lead. Vickers is going to give me some help, so thank you for that. And we'll just try to block for the time being. Oh boy. Newman and friends have brought company, and there, there's just a bunch of cars now. I don't know how many of them are for position, a lap down, or what. Now the thing I'm hoping for is that none of them can make it on fuel. That's the only thing I, I'm thinking of. But not totally sure. I don't know what they're going to do. The point is... We have a lot more cars to block. On the high side. Oh my good god. I didn't think it would be that, that close. Jeez, that was almost death. Truex back up here. Yeah, he started up in the front. He started up third with second row with me. So, hey, we finally meet once again. I like that. Okay, that's beautiful. We're seeing people pit, which is really good. And also, that lessens the load of cars that I have to block. So... That's also very nice. Again, I think we can make it just barely. And everything. 
So we'll just have to wait and see how this, this plays out. I just can't believe there's been no yellows. This has been kind of a disgusting race. But then at the same time, I like it because it's like super duper organic. But Hamlin just flat out just... Michael Walter just, just pushed Eddie Hamlin into a commanding lead. I, I lost him. Did I seriously just lose a draft? Michael Walter just soared Hamlin <laughs> clear out in front of me. Like, clear out in front of me. Good God. And then all of a sudden, Walter just backs out of it. Break checks Hamlin. And I guess the universe is back in balance because he did something really good and then he did something really bad at the same time. So, All right, well, three to go. And I think we're going to be good on fuel. I think. I don't know. I never would have thought I would say that Danica Patrick has a chance to win the Daytona 500. I didn't think I would say that in this race, but as of right now, she has a chance. I almost went off the track, which could have got me a black flag if I actually made a pass on anyone, really. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. We'll just hope more people pit this lap. I mean, there's only just a pack of five cars, I think, up here as Kurt. Okay, I guess Kurt's not pitting. Okay, well, now two to go. And I think more people are down pit road or something. I don't know. There's a bunch of cars on track. I don't know who's where and who's who. But Danica Patrick, man, I, she's just trying so desperately. This, it's been a weird race. I'll, I'll definitely say that much. And I don't know. Will people pit coming to the white flag? I think so. That's, it happens a lot in this game, honestly. Just kind of have to put ourselves in position. I just wanted this field to kind of thin out a little bit more because... I don't know, I don't know. Like, I just can't, I can't keep blocking them all like this. I'm, like, mentally drained from all this, just looking in my mirror and shit. And Danny Cap oh, good God, Danny Patrick. oh, no. That's a, that's a, that's a shame. It's a white flag, and we are so low on fuel. Kurt Busch is pushing me, and that's it. That's just, it's me and Kurt Busch. Oh, my God, he pushed me to 196, damn. Wow. It, it. I don't know. I think we can make it. But at the same time, we just had to race Kurt Busch. And he, Michael Walter just he gave up. <laughs> he just gave up. Oh my god, we were so low on fuel. I can't even see it. I think the thing's beeping like crazy now. Kurt, just stay behind me. Off turn four. Oh my god. Can, can, can I somehow manage this? Off turn four. Kurt Busch is going to push me. He's not even going to try. And we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it on fuel. Yes, we did it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. What? <laughs> what? Brian. Oh my god. I remember in Inside Line it took us 12 races to get our first win, and we just did it right out of the gate. I'm just. I'm. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it on fuel, let alone Kurt just gift wrapping me the lead, just pushing me to the line. What an, what an absolute bro. I I don't know. And we're going to get down pit road, and it's going to end the... No? Okay, now we end the animation. Now, will Brian look any different from inside line, or will it just be a cut and paste remodel of the... Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Booty still looks fine, though, so good on me. But yeah, um, I, oh my god, that felt like <laughs> so much stress. I can't even comprehend to you, like, just the level of blocking and shit. We almost died, like, four different times. <sighs> Look at the results. We led 23 out of the 40. Kirk Bush led four. There's a bunch of people that led laps. Truex I did pit on the white flag, but managed to get a top 10 as well as a Danica. And how many people were even on lead lap? I know last time we passed them was like 30th, so it might have been only 30th. Okay. 19 cars, uh, or 18 cars on lead lap. Wow. That turned into a really weird race. I didn't think they would go green all the way. But it did. And Dale Jr., 37th, who actually won a day 2500 in 2014, had an absolutely garbage day. And Cole Witt outran him, so that's sad. But yeah, that, that's the entire running order it's kind of cool that the lap sled thing like that it shows that will future me actually do like a lap led championship battle to see who leads the most laps in the season i don't think i would do that but man i mean i could because the game actually tracks it so i don't know i'll have to wait and see
there's our point standings. We did lead the most laps. We did pretty much everything that we needed to do with the point standings. For the most part, the running order looks about realistic. So, I guess except for Truex, so he didn't have a good 2014, but I guess believable would be the right term. Danica 10th, that's not believable, but yeah. Long season, very locked in. We pretty much, we got Jegs, we already got a sponsor. All right, that's great. Uh, we'll probably change the paint scheme. We'll maybe make it look stupid underfunded or something. I don't know, but at least we got a sponsor. So that's kind of cool. We'll have to add that onto the car later, but... So research, how much credits do we earn? 10,000. That's what I meant about the, the, the credits being weird. Cause it's, like, it's like they give you maybe 10,000 just for racing, but then the bulk of your sponsor comes from just, you know, the, the bulk of your credits come from sponsors. That's what I meant to say. I'm just really stupid. Okay, we could take the, the gloss away so it looks really, really just not shiny. Just looks really just shitty looking. So we'll go with that. And we'll just simply uh, place the decal. This, uh, this is the part of the game I don't like too much. Just, I guess it's cool that you can place the sponsor wherever, but it's just very just tedious. Maybe because I'm just not good at doing these. But, yeah. We'll put it on the, the deck lid here. Not the deck lid, the back part of the car. And we'll rotate it a little bit so it just fits a bit better. Something like, like that. I don't know. Again. There's other sponsors that pay a lot more, so we'll put the, the first one on the corner. <laughs> and, you know, we'll go from there. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dan Reynolds, Weather Burroughs, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave, Ivan Champ 15, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Motorsports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and as always, I'm very appreciative, and they're just very thankful for it. I'll see you all next part for Phoenix. I think if we put in our basic pit road adjustment setup, we could probably do okay. Again, I, I'd like to think so, but again, we're pr probably going into this with nothing added to the car. We don't have enough money for anything, so we might just not really add anything to the car and save up our money so we can get that engine shop upgrade and hope that we could just kind of go from there. But yeah, it, 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 there's just, I don't know. It feels like a lot of grinding, but I don't know. I never played like a full season of the, the career mode. I think I did maybe about like half a season, so I don't know. I'll just have to, like I've been saying a lot in this part, wait and see. Um, yeah, I'll see you all next part, and I'll uh, see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.